Good morning, it's day two of our cross country road trip. We started in Florida, we're still in Florida, Destin today, but today we are leaving Florida and looking forward to a day of bayous, battleships, buckies, uh, bay views. We're all packed up, my luggage way back here. So let's get on the road. Ready? Ready. I hear, hold on, <laughs> I hear voice. Okay. Okay. Hello. Uh, that one. All right, by Hampton Inn and Suites, Dustin. We're on the road again, heading to Louisiana with some cool stops along the way. We have a quick pass through of Alabama yeah. and Mississippi. Jackie, how close were we to going over there to ride that <laughs> little kiddie coaster just very, to get that little credit of that coaster? There? Very, very close. Next time. Spinning coaster. Yeah. Okay, first bridge of the day. Rest area. I think we are about to leave Florida and enter Sweet Home Alabama. Thanks for visiting. Let's take a little pit stop here. Take some pictures with the sign. Your destination is on the left. We both already got some injuries. Sam has a hurt toe. I have a little bit of a leg hurt, but it's okay. Part Just part of the fun. Hello, Alabama. My goodness, not a cloud in the sky. I wish it would stay this way. It feels so nice. We love to stop at welcome centers, state welcome centers, because often they'll have a sign, like a welcome to the state sign, which is cool. And they'll often have a welcome center like this with a ton of brochures, coupons, things to do, cool displays featuring, you know, that state specific flora and fauna and features and all of that. And then they usually have clean restrooms and it's just a great place to stop when you're road tripping. Let's go. Back on the road again. Ten minutes to Bucky's. A haven on the road. People often ask, what's so great about Bucky's? Well, there's quite a few things besides that they have really cute shops attached to them. They have very clean restrooms and a ton of them, a huge rows of super clean restrooms, which on the road, that's, I mean, that's worth its weight in gold or Bucky's beaver biscuits or whatever. Nuggets. <laughs> Bucky's nuggets. <laughs> and then also they have just really cute stuff in the shop. Sometimes Bucky himself is there walking around. Also, they have fresh right food. They have like a bakery right. and brisket, really, really good food and a ton of road trip food. So it's a haven. Oh, also a ton of gas. Good priced gasoline to fuel up your car while you're on the road. So it's like a haven right. on the road. Right. They're also huge. Oh my gosh, it is Ooh. packed. <laughs> there are a lot of people on the road this week. It's a week after Easter. We know there's a big celestial event happening this week that a lot of us are headed towards. So there's a lot of, lot of people road tripping. We're part of a cultural phenomenon. Ooh. Bucky's itself is a cultural phenomenon too. Bucky's are always busy, but like this is, here we go. We just drove around to the other side because the other side was crazy. Bucky's Beach Express. You always gotta give him a little boop. Each Bucky's location also has its own identity, so we have the Alabama Bucky stuff. Very tempted. <laughs> Look at this, it's got like the Bucky's cup, the every, that is crazy. Look, they have a Bucky's bikini. A Bucky. Bucky's out. Okay, Sam, Sam got in line. Hi Bucky. We are having a great time here. We love this. Can we get a pic with you? All right, there's more cool shirts here. And this one here, road tripping. Wow. You can't make everybody happy. You're not Bucky's. <laughs> I gotta remind myself of that every day. Okay, I got one. And then another of Bucky's virtues is coffee. And there was a while that they didn't have good creamer, but they've got it back. And they just have wall o delicious coffee. Beloved. Toasty, mm. Okay. Here's another one, Dance in the Rain. Let's get out of here, it's party time. Brisket sandwich, highly recommend. Chopped brisket is the way to go. 
Mmm. <laughs> Let's go to a battleship. The brisket sandwich has this tangy, peppery barbecue sauce, and the meat is so tender that it's so satisfying. Mm. You gotta do it. All right, we're just a few minutes from our next stop, a really cool thing in Alabama. We're getting closer to Bayou territory. Is that like a house or a business? A I don't know. Oh, it's shut. Oh, it looks cool. All right, we're coming up on downtown Mobile, Alabama, and the USS Alabama Battleship and the USS Drum Submarine. And that's our next destination. Ah, here we go. USS Alabama Battleship Memorial mm -hmm. Park. It's $18 entrance, but at the Alabama Visitor Center, we got a $2 off coupon, so 16 each. Look at all the cool stuff out there. And you get to go inside and tour. Ride. This reminds me of going to RAF Bath and Air Show, except for the opposite of <laughs> But there is some planes, I see them. Yeah, there's a bunch of aircraft. Okay, it looks like there's also a $5 park fee. There's apparently also a boat show happening here today, so good times. Look at all these, whoa. So you have to go to the aircraft pavilion to okay. get tickets. Oh yeah, look at the school trips. Oh, <laughs> I am gonna have to fight all urges to not say you sunk my battleship all day long. <laughs> you enter through the aircraft pavilion here. You can't purchase your tickets online in advance, but we're purchasing them here so we can use that coupon. So it's 18 for adult, 15 for senior, active duty military are free, dependents get a discount, veteran, child $6. Oh, and a AAA discount for $2, cool. I also do have AAA, so could've used that too. It's a self-guided tour. There's a guide here, a bunch of info everywhere. So let's go to the battleship. Thank you. <gasps> Whoa. It looks so much bigger the closer you get. <laughs> looks like they're doing some. Woo! Woo! Best bridge of the day. <laughs> Good one. Here we are. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. This is a World War II battleship. You can see the fleet assignments here and all of the operations. So this ship was going to go to the scrapyard once it was decommissioned, but they fought to have it preserved here and make this museum. It's just really quick walk in the deck to get some of the views and then we're going to go inside. Whoa. Lead the way. Okay. okay, let's go inside and begin. Ready? Yeah. Go down to the steps. Oh, you have to be very careful here. I feel like ideally you're supposed to go like turn around backwards, no? Uh, like climb. Oh yeah, you're very right. <laughs> I'm afraid to do that. You're learning your ship. Okay. I don't know. Alright. Right, let's go. Let's do it this way. There you go. Are you going to be able to do it while holding that? Yeah. I got it. I'm going. <laughs> I'm coming. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so there's a red tour and a green tour. And red tour here we have the engineer's office we're starting with. Wow, look. Logs and like oh, wow. the desk. They even have the cigarettes, the pencils they would have used. May 1944 calendar. Look how cool this is. They're like pumping the sounds in too. Look at this office. The general workshop tool issue and engineers storeroom. Whoa! Baked fresh bread every day. It's like the mess hall. I like that they have mannequins in the uniforms. The cruise galley. Can you imagine feeding 2,500 crewmen? 
three meals a day? Look at where they sat to eat. Okay, here are the tour routes. So red, green, yellow. Huh, we'll do as much as we can. Pressing shop. Oh, this is where they kept their uniforms pressed. Cruise messing space. So they do programs here where like scouts and stuff and different kind of groups can stay over. So there's a room here that says scouts and overnight groups only. It feels like, sometimes it feels like we're alone in yeah. here, right? Like sometimes there's a lot of people walking around but it's so huge that sometimes it just feels like it's just us. This is interesting, the ship store and they have, you know, the products here they would have used in 1940s, early 1940s. The temporary brig. The incarcerated will move from the main brig to the temporary brig for safety. He does not look happy, does he? bean soup. So we finished red and now we're starting the green tour. Okay, cool. Gunnery Aviation Office. Oh, tight quarters, huh? Mm -hmm. This is the warrant officer's mess. We got games here, dominoes. There's just so much to see in here. It's amazing. Obviously I can only show you some parts of this tour because it's just massive and it's a piece of history preserved in time. Whoa, there's so much in here. It's definitely worth a stop off if you're interested in history and seeing, you know, how things were. All right, uh, we're going down, lower. Should I go backwards on this one? Whatever you prefer. I don't know, <laughs> you told me backwards. Yeah, it seems easier, I guess. Go watch your head though. All right, here I come. So obviously, like, the technology has changed so much now from back then. When required, the activities of the CIC also assisted the commanding officer in Engine room. You can feel how low we are, you know? Ooh. Some information here and then we can go even further down. Lead the way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh wow. Oh it is kind of weirdly getting cooler. This is all stuff to do with the guns and stuff, I think. It's kind of scary down here. Yeah. There are some portions of this that feel really claustrophobic, really tight. There are tight staircases. There are steps to step over sometimes, but sometimes not. So you definitely need to, you know, just be prepared. <laughs> the clerical office, the typewriter, the Navy Department, uh, something. Bureau of Naval Personnel, a doctor's office. So like the pharmacy. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. The detail that they put into recreating this. Oh, uh, Sam disappeared. <laughs> there you are. I didn't know where you went. Oh, oh gosh, that's scary. <sighs> if you tell where he's going, he may never get there. It's like, you know. The dental offices. Oh, why do they have to be this color? You don't want to be in there, do you? You are listening to the only known surviving radio broadcast of the Zero Hour featuring the voice of Orphan Anne, AKA Tokyo Rose. Here's the chapel, religious services. And 
preserved so beautifully. All right, let's go up. We've been looking around a lot. You could spend all day here. Thank you. Here, oh, by the way, the route guide is here. Oh, is here a, a guest book. I like to get a <laughs> Come on out. Oh. Oh, this is amazing. I got in the turret. How is it in there? Can you get in the chair? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, we can go out the other side. Come on in. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. Want to go up? To, yeah, the floor, there's a lot of like, what, mind your step situation. Oh yeah, there's stairs. Want to go up to the front of the ship real quick like? It looks like you can. I don't know if I want to. Okay, go on. You have a look. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming. There's like slanted floors. Look at these tiny seats. Um... Hmm. You have to bend down. <laughs> Tight quarters, right? Uh oh, someone else coming in. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of kids trying to get in the same time as we were trying to get out. <sighs> okay, see, I'm still stuck in there. I escaped. I had to save you, didn't I? Yeah, I got trapped in there. I had to say, kids, excuse me. There's someone in there. Can you please let him out? And they still weren't stopping. No, they, they didn't care. They were. <laughs> They were having fun. people in that little tower. Yeah, we? by the time we got out. <laughs> but yeah, we got out. Woo. Oh yeah, mind this giant anchor. How do we do? We just walk around it? It's over, yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. That was just fascinating. I think we're going to go tour the submarine. Too, the USS Drum. It's so important to preserve and know about history so that we can learn and move forward. All right, so we're in the same main building and we did the battleship. Now we're gonna go check out the submarine. Very interesting. It looks like there are some new planes here donated by Jimmy Buffett. And if you've ever been to any Margaritaville locations, you'll know he did love planes and there's memorabilia everywhere in them. There's so much to see here. You could easily spend an entire day touring around. So interesting fact here, all US submarines are named after a species of fish. So a different species of fish. And the drum is named after a species of fish that is capable of making a defensive drumming noise. these stairs up I guess to get started okay here we go tour starts here more climbing Let's climb down into the depths of the submarine down here oh it's hot down here okay here we go whoa forward torpedo room okay ready let us begin. There are so many people in here. Oh my God. This makes the bunks on the Alabama look like luxury class, like, you know? Oof. It is really, really tight quarters in here. 
I had a little bit of a panic in there because it's a lot of people uh, touring through in really tight quarters and it's quite something to think of people working in these tight conditions and under the pressure and, and conditions that they're in. So, wow, very different from Alabama. And I'm gonna try to now escape. It's quite hot in there also. Oh, what air. Go up here. Under step. I would say as a warning um, and a heads up, if you're at all prone to claustrophobia or enclosed tight spaces being, you know, giving you anxiety or anything like that, be aware that the drum <laughs> might not be it for you. It's very interesting to see, very sobering, but it's a submarine. So the Alabama felt far more open and there's a lot of space to move. There are sections where you could feel totally alone. I think I see Sam coming. <laughs> Lost the oh There's like huge, huge school groups here. <laughs> Sam got oh, yeah. stuck back there and we can sprint. Sam? That was cool being. Okay, I'm a little scared. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Sam? Oh. <laughs> you made it. Oh my gosh. It's real tight. It's, you know, obviously you know a submarine's gonna be tight, but until you're in there, it's quite a feeling. We also got to the next yeah, that was really <laughs> scary. <laughs> I took some videos down there for Okay, you. good, because I kinda, <sighs> wow. A little tight. There's a little shop to exit through. Food too. Cool. <laughs> I got a nice glass bottle of Coke. Just for kicks. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing a cross country road trip. Wanna see the eclipse and California? If I knew how to open a soda, I would help. Nope, I don't. <laughs> Yeah, they were so nice and they said they were gonna subscribe so if you guys really did it was great to meet you and thank you for helping me open my soda <laughs> mm. it just tastes different out of a glass bottle <laughs> the car thinks it's 115 now well, it certainly feels like it yeah, it, does. it certainly feels like it All wow right. okay Go on, let's see, what do we got? How long to the hotel? Three hours, 10 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. All right. Let's see if it actually Your takes that long. Affected by flood warning. Oh, well, okay. Let's see what happens. Oh, hello, sir. Pump the AC. All right, we're pumping the AC. We got uh, 200 miles to drive. We got 400 miles of gas, fuel. Good to go. I'm one of those people who likes to be over a quarter, preferably over half. Yeah, I like to keep it nice and topped up. Through Mobile, Alabama, headed to Baton Rouge. So, into Louisiana at some point in the next three hours. Okay, we're going through a tunnel. I think this is the first tunnel of the trip. We've been through several bridges, but this is the first of, I'm sure, many, many tunnels. No honking here, though. No. <laughs> this is in Tennessee. Whoa, this is long tunnel. That 100 degree heat's getting to me. All right, Baton Rouge bound. We are coming up on the state line right now. Okay, there should be a sign somewhere. <laughs> I think it's up ahead. In half a mile, take exit 75 toward Franklin Creek Road. Look at the smoke. What's going on up here? It looks like a big fire. Maybe there's a factory. Can't get a good look at it, but it looks pretty crazy. There is a plane flying around. Dunno. Look at this up ahead. Another one. Interesting. Whoa, this one looks really like active, you know? The smoke is really filling up the whole road. 
Man. Yeah, this is a fire. Because. Yeah, oh trees, my gosh, the yeah. The trees are on fire. Whoa. I can smell it. Yeah. Whoa. I literally saw the trees burning. Hope everyone's okay from that. Whoa. Look, at, look, it looks like another one. This has been a very fiery drive so far through Mississippi. What well, this looks like clouds, but you can see from the change of color on the bottom, it looks like smoke. Yeah, we're getting closer to this that we've been seeing from far away. This is like the third or fourth fire we've seen today driving along the I-10, right? In a short space. Yeah, in a short uh, span of distance and time. Wow. Update. Uh, we are at a complete standstill. Yes. Uh, it does not seem good. Uh, it look these good. cars are flying past on the grass near us. Mm -hmm. We are not moving anymore, so hopefully. <laughs> we didn't have that, like it was less than two hours, but it keeps going up yeah. and up and up. But hopefully, hopefully again, everything's okay. Yeah. There's a six minute slowdown caused by a crash at 0 0.25 miles. I'm not sure it's gonna be six minutes. Uh, just a complete stop on the highway. And uh, we can't see up ahead what's going on, so. We shall see. I mean, these things happen, you know, on the road. It's just... You have to kind of expect it when you're driving yeah. this much. Yeah. But stay two. Stay two, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, well, we'll see, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. That keeps happening. I don't think it's all right. Me too. I hope everything's okay. Oh my gosh. That does not look good. People are putting the brakes on on their car, like the brake lights are going off, just putting their car in park. And um, we were supposed to be in Baton Rouge around five uh, with dinner plans and like walk around plans. I'm not sure what time we're gonna get there now. We do have a cool hotel though and we're still gonna do as much as we can this evening. <laughs> what is that? That is terrifying. I don't know. Update. We were lucky enough not to be further past there, didn't we? So a bunch of the traffic got off and then from there, you kind of have to figure out where to go and, and what to do. The traffic is backed up for hours going west. So we're now going east and we're going to go around. And it says two hours, 20 minutes from now. Whereas it would have been hours in that. And you can see it's backed up all the way must be closed. back here. They've Yeah, they've closed it. So these people are going to have to get off of the exit we were and turn around and probably get back on east and go around and this is very 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 bad whatever's going on oh my gosh we got off went to a gas station got some snacks and we're back on east and although this is definitely an unexpected part of the day but we're gonna just try to get there and see when we get to baton rouge and just get there safely Okay, we are taking an alternate route, a uh, detour, if you will. The highway is fully closed. Fully, fully closed in both directions, pretty much. It is absolutely crazy back there. So, let's see if this new path... It's got a nice view of Mississippi. Yeah. It's very pretty. Yeah, it is really pretty, actually. This gets us to Baton Rouge two hours, at least two hours later than we would have been, but we're getting there, and that's what matters. Really beautiful,
made it after after hours hours we're almost at our hotel baton rouge here in louisiana there it is hampton inn and suites baton rouge downtown that's the one ah. there's the river good old mississippi let's go nice it's cute okay we're in the room finally got checked in stuff's everywhere Sam is parking the car in the garage. This is nice. Okay, and we're supposed to have a view of, oh yeah, cool. All right, that's a nice view. The Mississippi River. Cool. Well, this is really nice. What a day. We are just so relieved to be here hours later than we intended to be. We were supposed to get here earlier in the afternoon. We had dinner reservations, we've missed those, so we'll find somewhere else to have dinner. We're just so happy to be off the road and have gotten here. I will say one thing, there's a big giant desk. We try to always book rooms with desks because I am editing during this trip. Not every night, but many nights during the trip, I'll be editing the vlogs of the trip as they go out, a little behind the scenes. Let's check out the balcony. Oh my gosh, this is such a huge balcony. Yeah, the biggest balcony I've ever seen. This is so nice. Oh, downtown's really pretty. It's surprisingly quiet when I was... Yeah. And that is a great, spectacular view. Wow. Feels good to finally have gotten here. <laughs> Quite the ordeal. Oh. Uh, we made it. We made it. That's what matters. It I feels good to be balcony, here. I know. When I got in the room, I was like, <sighs> yeah. Rooftop bar. Yeah, it's a rooftop bar. So we're just gonna try to find somewhere walkable and chill that we can get in. It's a mural, I guess, of the Capitol. Cool. Out of what's open. There's a place here called Blend that gets good reviews. Here it is. <laughs> Thank you. It's in like a... Oh. Okay, so um, it's like shareables and drinks and stuff. So we're just gonna make up our mind, pick some. So we missed our reservation at the original place we had planned. Everywhere is closing like really soon. So this place, they're really nice. They just have like shareables. So we ordered a bunch and it's actually a wine bar. So he gave us some wine suggestions. And you know what after the day we've had? I'll take some wine. <laughs> I could go for a glass. And it's really nice and cozy in yeah. here. And they said the kitchen's open still for another hour. So the Arnice. And the Pinot Grigio. Okay. Thank you. I do recommend trying the Pinot Grigio before you step to the army. So the Pinot Grigio first. I mean, it smells good to me. I don't know. Mm. Try the other one. Never tried the other one now. I like the glasses. <laughs> it already smells better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the aromatics on our wine are very strong. Interesting. He said this one was. He said it was like something about Earth, earthy, earthy or yeah. rocks or volcanoes. I'm gonna trust his judgment because he did tell us he does not like white wine. <laughs> yeah, he so did. He was very honest. He was very, yeah. very cool, very sweet. Oh, that's really nice. Mm. That is nice. Okay, you guys want to sip? Really uh, gave you a nice amount of samples there, didn't he? <laughs> said enjoy the yeah. samples. Which one did you go for? Uh, the, the one he said was the step up. Yeah. I don't know. It's just cheers. Cheers. He said that this one tastes earthy. Mm -hmm. Tastes like literally red wine rocks. <laughs> it tastes like, like a rock. It tastes like a rock. I don't know how to explain it, yeah. but he was so right. Yeah. Like a rock, yeah. licking a rock. I like, but like it. good. Yeah, good. But yeah. I think this is the one, the Cordero de Montezomolo. Sound like you know it. <laughs> Cordero de Montesolomo. I don't know. Mine Something is on of that. The first page of the red. And yours, you got the. This one. The Terraza del Etna Caruso. Okay. Sounds good. 
Sounds professional. And we got their food. Uh, They're out of crawfish pimento. We wanted to get that. So we got the shrimp bake, the lamb and ricotta meatballs, and I think the caprese flatbread. First up, the caprese flatbread. It looks good. And I am, woo, woo, hungry. Delicious, and now the meatballs. And the shrimp bake have come out. Lovely. Okay, this is wonderful. This is so, it's like toasted on top. It's creamy, you can taste the shrimp in there. It's, it's perfect. Everything's delicious. Okay, you know what, it worked out. Yeah. <laughs> it worked out. This shrimp bake with the Bella Vitano cheese, we this love it. Absolutely amazing. Like, we'll come back here just to get this. Yeah, if we knew that somewhere around us sold something like this, we would come and get it. It is. We are sad it. that like there's nowhere we can go. Yeah. We devoured it. Oh, I'm dipping to pizza get that. across in it. Just to get the last bits. <laughs> like the fact that we know we can't get this anywhere local, we are now sad. This place is lovely. The wines are great. Everything is so flavorful and delicious and they're so they've been so kind. And but that it's like we we can't get that anywhere. We have to come back to <laughs> we're come back to Baton Rouge yeah, just for that. Just for that. We'll stop in, grab this. Yes. Head. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was so nice. We were chatting with them, and they were so sweet. And they gave us just tiramisu, and they said it was. So coming our... to see them despite the traffic. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> this Aww. looks really good. <gasps> Look at all the powdered sugar. Delicate. Delicious. Sweet. Wow, that really is good. It's basically a winner. That was awesome, lovely. Pretty much now, everything's closed. We're so lucky that they were open long enough and had delicious food and drinks and lovely conversation too. It was just great. And those kind of places that surprise you. you yeah, know, you just completely do not expect it. Really nice. I like these uh, prints yeah. on the ground. This is really pretty. And over here, this is the Visit Baton Rouge building. There's a big mural over here. And look up here, this is cool. That's neat. Let's take a picture with this mural. Yes. Cool, that's really cute. All right, cool, so all of that is walking distance to our hotel, the Hampton Inn and Suites downtown. Cool. <laughs> that meal really helped like after the it boosted morale yeah right like yeah. our morale i think yeah. was kind of low yeah it was just like getting beat down by the sun shining straight at us for hours with detours and knowing that we had this whole afternoon book that we were going to do here and then yeah. it like wasn't going to happen but then the nice food and conversation and vibe lifted our spirits i would go back there just for that shrimp bake was it was so good, so good. <sighs> And the dessert was amazing. Yeah. They were so nice too. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, now I'm ready for bed. <laughs> well, today was a bit of the unexpected. Uh, <laughs> things didn't go exactly as planned, but that's okay. They ended up being great. Sometimes the things that you plan the least end up being the nicest. So we are gonna hit the hay. We are so tired. And then tomorrow, we're heading into Texas. And I'm pretty sure most of you know why. There's something cool going on, but we're also visiting family. And this is, again, part of our cross-country road trip from Orlando, Florida to California with lots of incredible stops along the way. And we're here just for, you know, the evening in Baton Rouge. Intended to be here for an afternoon, but we did get an amazing view, an amazing dinner, an amazing time. Thanks for hanging with us today. I am sending you a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video, and until then, as always, stay enthused, no matter what. <laughs> Bye!